Hydrogen cyanide, sometimes called prussic acid, is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula HCN. It is a colorless, extremely poisonous liquid that boils slightly above room temperature, at 25.6 AA degree Celsius. HCN is produced on an industrial scale and is a highly valuable precursor to many chemical compounds ranging from polymers to pharmaceuticals. Structure and general properties Hydrogen cyanide is a linear molecule, with a triple bond between carbon and nitrogen. A minor tautomer of HCN is HNC, hydrogen isocyanide. Hydrogen cyanide is weakly acidic with a pKa of 9.2. It partially ionizes in water solution to give the cyanide anion, Kna euro. A solution of hydrogen cyanide in water, represented as HCN, is called hydrocyanic acid. The salts of the cyanide anion are known as cyanides. HCN has a faint, bitter, almond-like odor that some people are unable to detect owing to a genetic trait. The volatile compound has been used as inhalation rodenticide and human poison, as well as for killing whales. Cyanide ions interfere with iron-containing respiratory enzymes. History of discovery Hydrogen cyanide was first isolated from a blue pigment which had been known from 1704 but whose structure was unknown. It is now known to be a coordination polymer with a complex structure and an empirical formula of hydrated ferric for cyanide. In 1752, the French chemist Pierre Macquer made the important step of showing that Prussian blue could be converted to iron oxide plus a volatile component and that these could be used to reconstitute it. The new component was what we now know as hydrogen cyanide. Following Macquer's lead, it was first prepared from Prussian blue by the Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Scheele in 1782, and was eventually given the German name Blauze currency year because of its acidic nature in water and its derivation from Prussian blue. In English it became known popularly as prussic acid. In 1787 the French chemist Claude Louis Berthelot showed that prussic acid did not contain oxygen, an important contribution to acid theory, which had thitherto postulated that acids must contain oxygen. In 1811 Joseph Louis Gay Lussac prepared pure liquefied hydrogen cyanide. In 1815 Gay Lussac deduced prussic acid's chemical formula. The radical cyanide in hydrogen cyanide was given its name from cyan, not only an English word for a shade of blue but the Greek word for blue, again owing to its derivation from Prussian blue. Production and synthesis, hydrogen cyanide forms in at least limited amounts from many combinations of hydrogen, carbon, and ammonia. Hydrogen cyanide is currently produced in great quantities by several processes, as well as being a recovered waste product from the manufacture of acrylonitrile. In 2006 between 500 million and 1 billion pounds were produced in the U.S. The most important process is the andriso oxidation invented by Leonid Andriso at IG Farben in which methane and ammonia react in the presence of oxygen at about 1200 AA degree Celsius over a platinum catalyst. 2CH4 plus 2NH3 plus 3O2 or 2HCN plus 6 hours 2O, the energy needed for the reaction is provided by the partial oxidation of methane and ammonia. Of lesser importance is the Degussa process in which no oxygen is added and the energy must be transferred indirectly through the reactor wall, CH4 plus NH3 or HCN plus 3 hours 2. This reaction is akin to steam reforming, the reaction of methane and water to give carbon monoxide and hydrogen. In the Schorenigan process, hydrocarbons, for example propane, are reacted with ammonia. In the laboratory, small amounts of HCN are produced by the addition of acids to cyanide salts of alkali metals, H++ and ACN and HCN++. This reaction is sometimes the basis of accidental poisonings because the acid converts a non-volatile cyanide salt into the gaseous HCN. Historical methods of production The demand for cyanides for mining operations in the 1890s was met by George Thomas Bilby, who patented a method to produce hydrogen cyanide by passing ammonia over glowing coal in 1892. This method was used until Hamilton Kastner in 1894 developed a synthesis starting from coal, ammonia, and sodium yielding sodium cyanide, which reacts with acid to form gaseous HCN. Applications 
HCN is the precursor to sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide, which are used mainly in gold and silver mining and for the electroplating of those metals. Via the intermediacy of cyanohitans, a variety of useful organic compounds are prepared from HCN including the monomer methyl methacrylate, from acetone, the amino acid methanine, via the Stricker synthesis, and the chelating agents EDTA and NTA. Via the hydrogenation process, HCN is added to butadiene to give adiponitrile, a precursor to nylon 66. Occurrence HCN is obtainable from fruits that have a pit, such as cherries, apricots, apples, and bitter almonds, from which almond oil and flavoring are made. Many of these pits contain small amounts of cyanohitans such as mondela nitrile and amygdalin, which slowly release hydrogen cyanide. 100 grams of crushed apple seeds can yield about 70 mg of HCN. Some millipedes release hydrogen cyanide as a defense mechanism, as do certain insects, such as some bonnet moths. Hydrogen cyanide is contained in the exhaust of vehicles, in tobacco and wood smoke, and in smoke from burning nitrogen-containing plastics. So-called bitter roots of the cassava plant may contain up to 1 gram of HCN per kilogram. HCN and the origin of life, hydrogen cyanide has been discussed as a precursor to amino acids and nucleic acids. For example, HCN is proposed to have played a part in the origin of life. Although the relationship of these chemical reactions to the origin of life theory remains speculative, studies in this area have led to discoveries of new pathways to organic compounds derived from the condensation of HCN. HCN in space HCN has been detected in the interstellar medium. Since then, extensive studies have probed formation and destruction pathways of HCN in various environments and examined its use as a tracer for a variety of astronomical species and processes. HCN can be observed from ground-based telescopes through a number of atmospheric windows. The J equals 1 or 0, J equals 3 or 2, J equals 4 or 3, and J equals 10 or 9 pure rotational transitions have all been observed. HCN is formed in interstellar clouds through one of two major pathways, via a neutral-neutral reaction and via dissociative recombination. The dissociative recombination pathway is dominant by 30%. However, the HCN H plus must be in its linear form. Dissociative recombination with its structural isomer, H2NC plus, exclusively produces hydrogen isocyanide. HCN is destroyed in interstellar clouds through a number of mechanisms depending on the location in the cloud. In photon-dominated regions, photodissociation dominates, producing CN. At further depths, photodissociation by cosmic rays dominate, producing CN. In the dark core, two competing mechanisms destroy it, forming HCN plus and HCNH plus. The reaction with HCO plus dominates by a factor of 3.5. HCN has been used to analyze a variety of species and processes in the interstellar medium. It has been suggested as a tracer for dense molecular gas and as a tracer of stellar inflow in high-mass star-forming regions. Further, the HNC-HCN ratio has been shown to be an excellent method for distinguishing between PDRs and X-ray dominated regions. On August 11, 2014, astronomers released studies, using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array for the first time, that detailed the distribution of HCN, HNC, H2 company, and dust inside the comma of comets C-2012 F6 and C-2012 S1. As a poison and chemical weapon a hydrogen cyanide concentration of 300 mg per meter 3 in air will kill a human within 10 euro 60 minutes. A hydrogen cyanide concentration of 3500 ppm will kill a human in about one minute. The toxicity is caused by the cyanide ion, which halts cellular respiration by acting as a non-competitive inhibitor for an enzyme in mitochondria called cytochrome C oxidase. Hydrogen cyanide has been absorbed into a carrier for use as a pesticide. Under IG Farben's brand name Zyklin B, it was used in the German concentration camp mass killing during World War II. The same product is currently made in the Czech Republic under the trademark Uragan D2. 
Hydrogen cyanide was also the agent used in gas chambers employed in judicial execution in some U.S. states, where it was produced during the execution by the action of sulfuric acid on an excised mass of potassium cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide is commonly listed amongst chemical warfare agents known as blood agents. As a substance listed under Schedule Three of the Chemical Weapons Convention as a potential weapon which has large-scale industrial uses, manufacturing plants in signatory countries which produce more than 30 tons per year must be declared to, and can be inspected by, the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. During the First World War, USA and Italy used hydrogen cyanide against the Central Powers in 1918. France had used it in combat already in 1916, but this proved to be ineffective due to physical conditions. Under the name prussic acid, HCN has been used as a killing agent in whaling harpoons. From the mid-19th century it was used in a number of poisoning murders, starting with the Quaker poisoner John Tall in 1845, and in major occurrences of suicide including the deaths of over 900 people at Jonestown and the mass suicides in 1945 Nazi Germany. Hydrogen cyanide gas in air is explosive at concentrations over 5.6%. This is far above its toxicity level. References External links, in Stitch at National de Recherche et des Arts Copyright Curator Copyright. Cyanide Nier Solutions à Causes. Fiche toxicologique na degree 4, Paris, INRS, 5 pp, International Chemical Safety Card 0492, Hydrogen Cyanide in Cyanides, National Pollutant Inventory, Cyanide Compounds Fact Sheet, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, Department of Health Review.